You're now watching the Lightridge High School Black Box Lightboard training video. This video will tell you how and what this board can do. Firstly, let's start off with the basics. To turn on the board, you gotta make sure it's plugged in. Make sure that your ETC net cable is plugged into both the board and the wall jack. This may become irrelevant later on. To power on, simply press the blue button that is on the board. It has a little power button symbol underneath it. What makes us different to all the other schools is that we have LED light fixtures in our black box. And they all factually do work. To operate the light board, you must ensure that 1 through 50 are completely all the way up at 100%. These control the power to the outlets for some reason. This may become irrelevant in the future. Turning off and on individual lights is easy from there. All you need to do is adjust their level using the digital slider. Do mind if you do have the fader page on page 1 which is 1 through 20. If you mess with those values using your sliders you will mess up the power to the fixtures and cause them to stop working. If you want to select multiple lights you could just slide your finger across that group or you can tap them individually if you want. Changing color on the color source is very easy. You don't have to mess with no gels, you don't have to be up on a ladder, you have to make sure that there's enough gel for all your gel frames, no. You just gotta select the color page. You just tap this tab, or you can just press the button underneath. In this tab, you can use the color page to select what color you want exactly. There's also a color swatch tab if you want to access it from here by pressing on this button here. In addition, if you press the same button again, it will bring you to a page that will let you set the exact RGB value if you for some reason have that need. This board also can do strobe, which is very useful for like lightning and stuff. It's not something that you would do very often and uh, kind of makes uh, your light fixtures cause a rave to go on in the black box. To access the strobe feature, you gotta go and tap on this tab, and then go to this button here. And you can choose between open, closed, and strobe. You can adjust these values accordingly to how fast you want the fixtures to strobe. I would not advise strobing all the fixtures. It's blinding. Here's something that is very important. Saving your show files. You have to go to the settings card, and in here, you select files. This is where you can save the show or create a whole new show file. I wouldn't advise making a new show file because the fixtures are patched in on this file here, or you could select another file called copy this for new show. And the reason why you want to use that is because patching is a tedious process and uh, you may not know all the addresses of the fixtures. To make a copy of the new show file, just tap open and select the file. Then click open and it should bring you back to the page you were on before, before pressing the settings cog. It should look like you haven't touched anything. It'll say at the top in a little banner, uh, show file loaded. Once it's open, all you need to go and do is go back to the files screen by tapping the settings cog, and then select files, and then tap on save as. You can put in a show name here. You'll have to let it load because it's going to make a copy for you. And then you should have your new show file. Here's how to open a show file. 
you just tap on the settings guy and from there go to file and then tap open and then you can select whatever show file you need to open here's something exciting recording cues to record your cues just bring the lights you want up to the level that you want change your color and set their strobe all you have to do is press the record button and then in there there will be a little menu then select the cue once in the cue menu you can set the number to whatever number cue you want do you mind that you can do decimals if you somehow mess up your cue recording you can always put a decimal in between recording playbacks otherwise known as your submasters or you could call them faders or sliders all you have to do is bring up the lights to whatever level set the color set the strobe from there press the same record button and then you can just press the button underneath the fader that you want and it will use that fader do you mind if there's already something assigned it will ask you do you want to overwrite what is assigned you can find your cue pages here at the top you can also see your playbacks on the playback page also right next to here on the top. There are some very common mistakes with this board and uh, especially now because the patch is kind of like weird you have to have 1 through 50 always up at 100% that may become irrelevant in the future but something that is very common is that these four sliders here must always be up if they're down for some reason someone messed with your board Make sure that they are completely up because it will not give you an output. If you're also not getting an output when those are all the way up, you can try restarting the board by just holding the power button until it shuts off. It'll ask you if you want to turn it to sleep and it'll ask you to remove the power cable if you want to shut off immediately. It's also another thing that could cause you to not get an output. You need to ensure that your ETC net plugged in. I don't know why it would become unplugged if it's already wired into the wall, but if it's unplugged, your board will not be able to communicate to the fixtures. It'll just say, oh, it's definitely on, trust me. If you ever have any more questions or can't find anything you need through this video, just read through the instruction manual. This video is only meant to get you started. If there's something more advanced you want to do, you may always read the manual and it will tell you exactly how to do it.